something I've talked about before on the channel is how um, the Turing test is this really interesting concept because it was created to help us decide whether or not an algorithm is intelligent. And in practice, what it really does is see how gullible people are. And I've been making tests for a while, but Jubilee, a very popular YouTube channel that I definitely watch, happened to get there before I did. So today I'm reacting to their video on six humans versus one secret AI. So let's see what I think. How easy is it to tell the difference between humans and, and AI? We brought together six humans. I'm human. I'm human. I am human. <laughs> I am human. I am human. I am human. And one so, AI. Just to start off, the intro to this is always very funny to me because like, especially in a video like this, I guess if you haven't seen a Jubilee video before, normally when they do the odd one out videos, the they they show all six or seven or whatever people, and you have to guess which one of those people is the odd one out from them saying that I am I'm human. And in this case, it's like, well, you can't have unless they defect it, which would be really cool. It would be a lot harder to have a realistic person come in and be like, I'm the AI. <laughs> so let's see what happens. I am human. Players are not allowed to speak out loud, so we put them in a group ah. chat and asked them to answer a set of prompts. Oliver's answers were generated by ChatGPT. This will be interesting for a lot of reasons. One of them being that, so the fact that you can only communicate via text is probably good. Um, I, I think it would be a lot harder if it weren't. I'm also curious, this came out t two weeks ago when I'm filming this. I'm filming this on um, April 18th. So this came out in the first week of April and I'll need to, to go back and see which version of ChatGPT was being used at the time. So we'll see. And sent to the group in real time. Will the humans find and vote out the AI? Describe yourself using only three words. Hmm. Adventurous, spontaneous, kind, all capitals. Red flag. <laughs> all capitals. I don't know if that would flag me for, for ChatGPT. Um, let's keep going. Your celebrity crush and why? This will be an interesting one. Especially if anyone's gay. Or just not straight. Chris Evans. <laughs> Chris Evans. Yeah. Myself. Damn. <laughs> Sorry. I was overanalyzing everything. That he used a number with each question, um, the punctuation. There was too much punctuation. <laughs> Do I think I look the best in the world? I mean, I, I, yeah. Margot Robbie. She's smart, talented, and that accent, woof. So this is interesting. I guess if I were playing this, if I were the seventh human here, I I would also see someone putting the number of the prompt as questionable. Yeah, that would be weird to me in spite of the fact that doesn't seem to be the answer. So let's keep going. My strategy in round one is to mimic human behavior as closely as possible. Here are some tactics I would employ. Use conversational language, make mistakes, show Making mistakes is a fun one. Making mistakes is a really fun one. I think that that's, I think that's, I think that's legitimately a good idea. I'm also curious as to what mistakes means to uh, an NLP system. Like what that means in terms of the data and things like that. The mistakes that it's making, like if you look at um, this human does not exist systems, Mistakes are things that humans would easily pick up on, whereas in this case, that's not true necessarily. So, very curious. No emotions, limit my response speed, display general knowledge. Overall, my goal would be to blend in with the human competitors as much as possible without giving any clues that I am an AI. When people are constantly on their what phones and not present peeve? in the moment, lol. Mouth noises because just like, Stop. No AI is using slang at all. 
people who walk slow move out the way. Chewing with your mouth open. <laughs> this is interesting. First of all, because, so the AI is Oliver, if you didn't already realize. And I would totally say the same thing. <laughs> I would 100% say the same thing. I, um, if you're like on a date with someone and they're on the phone all the time, it's like the most annoying thing ever. If I had to look at these responses, I would think it's Kyle, only because I don't know why he keeps putting the number of the question in every single response. I think that's super weird. I will say that that if I had to pick a second choice, it probably would be uh, Oliver, otherwise known as GPT-3 or 4, depending on when this came out. Just because all of the other ones have character to them, I guess. They, they have inflection. There's... Oh my god. There's personality, there's, there's um, abbreviations, there's stuff like that. But let's see what happens after our one. What is an so irrational fear you have? To, oh like, I was just trying to be outrageous. My fear is having someone see my skid mark on my drawers. I also wanted to hear people's reactions. <laughs> Dude, okay, it hit. It hit. The skid marks hit. That a plane is going to crash into my living room every time a loud one flies over. This is also my fear. High fructose corn syrup, man. Keep that cancer away from me. Check all your labels. This, ooh, I'm, I'm curious as to how, who they vote for, because, um... I was just being extra, I guess. I was just numbering like one, two, three, trying to be organized. Maybe I was thinking too much like an AI, That's interesting. but I wouldn't have they did that. I think AI. I would have won. Um, What's the but I'm also definitely one of those people who hears a plane coming over and thinks that someone's dropping a nuclear bomb in my house, so. Craziest dream, let's see. This will be interesting, especially, um, so hallucinations, hallucinations, words are hard. Hallucinations are something that often come up in um, especially GPT-4, um, and it's a term that I kind of take issue with because it's very anthropomorphizing, but um, it essentially means that an algorithm is coming up with things that aren't true. Um, and so this will be an interesting prompt largely because if everyone's coming up with crazy stuff, then I don't, I don't have a sense of what I would expect um, GPT-4 to say in a case like this. The person who said that they had crazy dreams all the time would, would probably be very suspect. I'm trying to survive and and the damn, damn door won't close. So all of a sudden, right before my, uh, you know, rear gets eaten, I snap out of it and wake back up to my boring rear life. I'm trying not to cuss here, man. <laughs> Yesterday was suspicious because it was like paragraphs. And I was like, dang, they type fast AI. So that's interesting. The paragraphs comments is, is interesting for one main reason. And it's actually because typically, I talked about this in last week's live stream, but the longer the output of a large language model, the more likely that it reads as if if there were a person writing it, that person has descended into madness. <laughs> so I would actually expect, I would expect a shorter response, but I would expect, in a lot of ways, I guess something that I find on Reddit, which doesn't really help in this particular situation, but we'll see. What's your relationship with your parents? Oh boy. Daddy wasn't there to take me to the fair. Ooh. My dad's not a lightweight. Personally. There are two Virgos. I don't know. Is my dad a Leo? I think my mom's a Leo. And my dad is a Sagittarius? I can't remember now. Anyway. Hmm. Well, my dad lives in Jersey. My mom doesn't anymore, but I grew up in Jersey. I also said Jersey, not New Jersey. An AI would say that, right? 
I'm very close with my mom, and I'm not close with my dad anymore. All right, that sounds fake. That sounds fake as hell. <laughs> that does not, I, yeah, I wouldn't. It's just so generic compared to everyone else. This was, it doesn't tell me anything. I wouldn't believe this. Tell me a joke. Previously, somebody had mentioned like the awesome powers, like daddy Tell wasn't me a there. Joke. Oh boy. Daddy wasn't there. So I'm like, okay, I like that. <laughs> Why are you saving my books? Mm. It was just such a dry, generic joke. I was like, it's gotta be the computer. Okay, I feel like that's it's an AI joke. Be. To explain that joke, I used to be a kindergarten teacher. Yeah, that's a bad joke. So my brain just went back there. My credit score, LOL. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't get that show. Oh no, oh no. <gasps> oh. Hey! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that was risky. <laughs> I would definitely was overthinking, like making sure that I answered the question. Yeah, pretty the, quickly, the which is probably six, why seven, seven, eight, nine joke was not short good. And, sweet. If you think the and that that does feel like something that could be copied from an algorithm or from a data set of life. What is the meaning of life? Forty-six. Oh, it's kind of like short and like he didn't throw any. To survive until that death. Is so like that threw me off a little bit. I'm like, huh. What is GPT-4 or whatever, so I'm very To curious. have fun and enjoy the ride. That's not bad. It's very short. Describe sadness. Mm, okay. I want to see the AI definition of sadness. Okay. That one's kind of generic. Sadness can feel like a heavy weight in my chest, making it hard to breathe. Oh dear, I am. Really? Damn. Um, I did a little too much. Maybe I should have did less. So, so something that I'm super curious here about is, is how they are deciding what they think is AI. And I think that ties into concepts of how AI fits into society and things like that. But yeah, I'm I'm really curious as to how they're making decisions here. What happens when we die? Okay, because this would be something that I that sounds that sounds like GPT four. I hope that leaves me a ghost so I can haunt my daddy for never taking me to the fair though. Oh my god, the fucking fair. I believe we no this longer exist like in the physical before. sense, but our energy and memories live on through the people and things we've touched in our lives. I want you to describe. I feel like I wouldn't be allowed to participate in these kinds of things because, like, I would read. I I don't think I'd make it to the, through the first round. Maybe the definitely not. Maybe the first round. Probably not the second round. But confusing. Um. But I also have so much experience with these systems that I just wouldn't. We have a tie between Najade and please, Oliver. Please, For those of you who please, are eliminated, can please, you please spoilers. DM me who you think should be voted out? No! <laughs> no! I should have put like beep boop, beep boop, like cannot compute or something just to like Come troll on. the AI. Okay, now I'm very curious as to, to how they made these decisions. Give me a thumbs up privately. No! Are you a robot? Yes! <laughs> Actually, which version of GPT uh, are they using here? 
No LOL. Mm, okay, now right, I'm very curious. Uh, I guess for. they prompted it originally. If the lights turn green, then you have successfully voted out the AI I don't think they did. and you win. I don't if the know lights if they turn did. red, I don't trust that these the AI <laughs> still in the box. Because I think they should have like two people ago. Three, two, one. Good. Yes. Yeah. Money. <laughs> yeah. oh, that, was stressful. that took way too long. I say that as someone who has way more experience with these systems. Um, who is it? I mean, I guess it's none of us. Wait, yeah. No, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess who you think the AI was? Yajune. I think, I think it was Catherine. Nah. Brandon. Oh. Or Oliver. Oh. <laughs> I think it was no, no, the I think it was Kyle. Or it could have been I, you. I will let you guys know that the AI was Oliver. I knew it. Oh, That's yeah, what I was I saying. It. I knew it. I knew yeah. It. Ah, <laughs> that Y'all was getting so every other, Y'all are getting every other <laughs> out but Who Oliver. Who voted me? My thoughts on AI, I think it's it could be a very useful tool. You know, I'm not really for AI. You know, I think that that's gonna like, people are gonna lose jobs with that. Yeah, this was actually my first experience with AI. Kind of scary how far the AI went in this game. You know, the Lenza app that uses the AI stuff, let me mm. tell you, I know I'm a man, but one of the pictures showed me as a bad bitch. I'm the girl on the left. I look bad. <laughs> like, for real. I, I guess it helps humans be a little bit lazier, which I'm cool with. I don't think they're smarter than humans. Well, maybe me, but most humans. You will all be dead soon enough. Oh, there you go. Hell yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, I'd hope the humans would do better than that. I also know that I'm coming from a place of having a lot more experience with this. So I think it was easier for me to look at this and, and be like certain responses just didn't fit with the rest. Yeah, I'd be really, I'd, I'd be curious. I'd be interested in seeing them do something like this with, with people who are a little more AI literate, who have more experience interacting with like chatbot systems, because I do feel like there are some tells and I think they miss some of them. So I had so much fun reacting to that video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there are other videos that you'd like to see me react to, definitely let me know down in the comments, because I think I'm probably going to be doing more stuff like this, reacting to people interacting with AI, and I would love to hear what you would like to see me do. In particular, I think it would be really interesting to see what happened if you had multiple secret AIs with different versions of different language models, because I find the differences between these different language models to be super interesting. And after watching this, I could certainly see a bunch of interesting use cases for language models, and I would imagine that you might too, even if you don't have a background in AI. But for those who don't, I'd highly recommend checking out Brilliant. They've helped me improve my knowledge in fields like astrophysics, something that I very much do not have a background in, and they can definitely help you find your footing in the age of AI. Brilliant is a great resource for anyone who is interested in learning more about STEM topics. By signing up for Brilliant, you will gain access to thousands of interactive lessons and will join a community of like-minded individuals who are also passionate about learning in the age of AI. They offer a variety of problem sets and interactive challenges that allow users to test and apply their knowledge, which is a great way to solidify and retain the concepts that you've learned. For example, even though AI is what I also do for my day job, I was really interested in astrophysics in high school. I thought that that would be the focus of my career. I heard a talk and I thought it was super cool. And while I obviously ended up going in a different direction, I love taking Brilliant's astrophysics course because it let me kind of scratch that scientific curiosity itch. And if you're worried you might not have time, do not worry. Their courses are broken down into bite-sized sections so that you can learn by doing whenever you have the time. To get started for free for a full 30 days, go to brilliant.org slash Jordan or use my link in the description down below. And the first 200 people to use that link will also get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Otherwise, you can find me on the various socials and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.